get is just what we need. If I know my biomechanics, and I do, then I believe those claws will give you extra traction. I'll try using a leap to cross that gap. Press and hold the R2 button to target that post. Then press the X button to leap to the target. That's awesome. That is freaking awesome. Boom, boom. I can play dead. Man, I'm using this costume like screw supply. Perfect. This costume is way better. Is it like gonna let me go up there? But yeah, we're good. Some money while we're here, I guess. Money, money. What? Ugh. going get up there hey hey he thank you Man, that's totally one of my ancestors. Yo, make it quick with that stick. The frizz don't play. I ain't got all day. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. Here's the cheese. Now I want to talk to your boss about my goods. The guards on those pedestals are the ones restraining him, Sly. Take them out and he should be free. Looks easy enough. Be careful, Sly. If you're caught, you'll never get it out of there. This is the perfect situation for your Cyclone Pounce. Okay. Three, four, and five. Why, this is amazing! I've run comparison tests, facial features, fur legs, tail volume, and according to them all, that cave raccoon is definitely your ancestor. I believe you found the very first Cooper. I'm not sure I see wow. the resemblance, but I'll take your word for it, Bentley. Hey, big guy, what do you say we get out of here? Well, no, we've never met, but a reliable source tells me we're distantly related. I'm not sure what to say. Um, it, it's truly amazing to meet you. Uh, what's your name? Um, my name's Sly. Sly Cooper. What's yours? Right. How about I just call you Bob? He's right, Sly. You two should get out of there before more guards show up. Come on, yeah. follow me. Um, 
Okay, I guess we'll do it your way. We got Bob safely back to the hideout where everyone took an immediate liking to him. And he took an immediate interest in our gadgets. While he was busy, Bitly provided the background on his former captor. The guy's name was Grizz, and he'd made his fame in the art world. Once a common street thug, he'd been thrust into the limelight when he was plucked from the gutter and made famous by a prominent pop artist. Grizz's primitive artwork was hailed as a brilliant new style called Paleo Graffiti. And for a while, he enjoyed a celebrity status. His fame was short-lived, however, when people realized his art was really just... bad. Resentful, he returned to his criminal roots, quickly becoming the top art thief on Interpol's most wanted list. One of Carmelita's main targets, it was now clear how he'd managed to evade her capture for so long. After we pried Bob away from Bentley's tools, he explained how Grizz had appeared and started harvesting all the pterodactyl eggs in the area, eliminating his role as food provider for the tribe and greatest egg thief ever. Depressed, he'd gone into a slump and gotten out of shape, which allowed Grizz to capture him and take the new tool he'd invented to help him steal eggs. So, it looked like the very first Cooper Kane had been stolen as well. Great. We may have rescued Bob from the arena, but we still needed to find out what sort of operation Grizz was running for La Paradox, and why it involved stealing all the eggs. We also needed Bob's help to find the rest of the van parts, and that meant we had to get him back <laughs> into climbing shape, fast. <laughs> Wow. Burp. Yes! I wanna be Bob. What about Carmelita though? I bet I bet um Grizz has Carmelita. I'm just guessing. I I'm pretty I <sighs> She most likely I mean he most likely has Carmelita. Hey, we got a club. This is crazy. Okay, um... That's awesome. Loaded. Bentley, Bentley's bombs are sticky. Try sticking them to an unsuspecting god. Kaboom! Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. How much time are we at? I'm gonna try to keep them like... Not very long. We got some more time. Okay, let's do this. The Murray Games. <laughs> 